What's up guys, Gormo here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory today. We are back for the second video of the day because there is so much to get involved in for Team of the Year. We've got objectives, we've got team building, we've got packs, we've got gameplay, weekend league. There is a lot to get into. If you haven't, go and check out the video from earlier today. We've got tons of packs for about 20 minutes. Just showing you how to grind the game, best way to use different players in different SPCs in terms of what duplicates are good to deal with. There's everything over there, even how to spend your FIFA points because we've got FIFA points and we're going to have to spend them at some point. But today, as I said, we've got a few things different um, compared to the video earlier today. We've got all the objectives. We've got the team that we can build for the end of the game, more so for the end of team of the year. That can be used till the end of the game, but... Hopefully, we'll be able to get a lot of that done. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you are enjoying the content that I'm producing because it means a lot to me. Um, and the support has been fantastic. I mentioned this, I think it might have been yesterday on Twitter or the day before. Videos have been doing fantastic. I can't appreciate you guys more than I already do. So, yeah, thank you for all the support. And we'll just continue to grind the game. Plenty of double uploads this week. There might be another two or three days worth of double uploads. As you can see, we've got 95 packs still. So there's plenty to open. I think in the video earlier today, we started on 100 and we probably opened the best part of about 15 packs, which shows the grind that we're at. Plus, we're going to add more packs into it because as you can see, as per usual, I've been grinding um, plenty of things. Mainly, we have got Luke Shaw complete. Now, I really wanted to use him for Weekend League. We're currently using Teo Hernandez, just his normal card, nothing too special. However, with Luke Shaw, it means that we can obviously get him into the team playing we've got 14 games left for champs we're currently three and three so again a good set of games to play with him and um, hopefully we'll get the nine wins very easily it shouldn't be too bad but yeah all of this was done and um, we used all team of the year loan cards that we have in the club in the video before we opened our team of the year loan pack we got ruben diaz he was really fun to use at the back and um, we used Vieira in midfield again team of the year messi team of the year mbappe and ronaldo up front we are going to work on getting Team of the Year Ronaldo. Um, one thing that I did tweet about, and I have mentioned it in a few like Twitch chats and stuff, is for me, I was going to do co-op by myself by chucking it on that TV, chucking it on that Xbox, and trying to play. I played one game of squad battles. Sadly, I ended up actually losing connection because I wasn't controlling both controllers enough throughout the game. Um, so because of that, I just wasn't able to get it done. But anyway, we'll get that done at another time. I can find somebody to do co-op with worst case i think we might be able to go into the friendlies um and actually use that co-op again it's really easy to do win six games play 10 games scoring 20 which again is probably going to be fairly simple and a finesse goal in them games is absolutely fine we get draft token back which sadly ea have reduced the rewards in draft right now um, and reduced all the like icons in there so it's not amazing but it is what it is we'll see what happens with that but our first Team of the Year honourable mention, Luke Shaw, is into the club. Um, hopefully, he's not going to be the only blue that we get. I would love to get one today. We're going to have Foot Champs rewards tomorrow now. Um, it was originally going to be today, but because I've just decided to do more uploads for packs, we'll have them tomorrow's video. Um, I think we'll probably end up doing another sort of 10 games today, maybe four games tomorrow, um, just to split it out a little bit. Obviously, we've got level 13, level 15 complete, so we'll get around to that. Plus, in also doing Luke Shaw, we've gonna got another two packs. We've got an ultimate pack and a jumbo premium, a jumbo premium gold players. Was it jumbo rare players? Whatever it's called, jumbo rare players pack. 100k, 125k. So hopefully, we'll get some good out of these. Um, in terms of the packs that we've actually got in the store available to open, all of the packs are big packs. As you can see, not only did we start on 95, but we've just gonna got six more packs. For them being smaller packs, which is absolutely fine. The likes of these smaller electrums will open, prime mix will open, all of them, that's absolutely fine. But as you can see, we've got some massive packs here, plus we've got a load of ultimate packs here, rare megas, 100k packs, 50k packs, there's plenty of them. So there's tons of stuff to open right now. And in terms of like actually getting a team of the year, in terms of the, what do we have? 100k packs are in store. It's about a 1.3% chance of a team of the year. The fact that Honourable Mentions is nearly at 10% in a 100k pack, if we open 10 of them, we should get one, realistically. 
Is that going to happen? Absolutely not, because our pack luck has been woeful. If you actually watch the video earlier today, without spoiling it too much, we didn't really get anything. We even opened our Twitch Prime Gaming Pack, and we got absolutely nothing out of it. Whereas Matt Foot Trading, he goes and gets a Team of the Year Marquinhos from one of the play picks. It's just typical. I know what my luck's like. Um, and in terms of actually having the luck, obviously, I want to build a team towards some of these Team of the Year cards, some of the Honorable Mention cards, quite a few of the SBCs that we have. So this is my sort of ideal plan for right now, more than anything. So if we are to get any of the Team of the Year midfielders or Honorable Mentions from the Prem, so Salah, Bruno Fernandes, Jorginho, um, De Bruyne and Kante, all of them walk into this team straight away. We also have the ability that Ruben Diaz can easily go into this team. Obviously, this is his loan card. We used him for a good few games there, 32 games it took us. I mean, we've got a team of the year, Messi, and we've used him for over 100 games right now because of friendlies, which is crazy and why all my sort of play of stats just don't correlate because it's purely as I'm going into friendlies and quitting nil-nil or quitting one-nil, quitting one-all because I'm doing goal and goal and stuff. That's fine. But yeah, so Ruben Diaz would happily go into this team Again, it can change things up because we don't have to go with Donnarumma. We don't have to have Kimpembe. If we get Marquinhos, Kimpembe comes out dead easy. Nice, easy swap there. Um, obviously, Varane will get completed. That's fine. In terms of if we were to get someone like a Goretzka, all that we do is just chuck him here on 8 chem. That's absolutely fine. Um, Rudiger also fits into the team. We can fit and work around him. David can also fit into the team. The only issue is we'd have to drop like Daglish. But I think we'd be all right doing that. Worst case, what we do is go to a 4 triple 2 and then play Ronaldo as a cam. A bit different, but for me, I'd happily do it. Um, obviously, if we've got Ronaldo, he would be phenomenal. Cancelo fits into this team as well. He just walks into that left back spot, replacing Luke Shaw already. Again, not an issue. So there's plenty of different things we can do. If we were to go and get the likes of Adonaruma, Kimpembe stays in. If we were to go and get Ruben Diaz, what I'd do is I'd end up taking... Kimpembe out and throwing in Jersey Dudek and just having like a four triple two formation and working out like that. Same with Rudiger. If we get Rudiger in, we'd obviously get the strong link with Kante and we'd be able to throw things around a little bit more, change things around and be able to do it. So there is an ability to get one of these cards and it would just complete the team. Right now, we can use normal Hakimi. That's absolutely fine. We can go and throw in um, Winter Wild card Minan. And again, he could just play in this goalkeeper spot. Fantastic. We could go and get Jersey Dudek. There's a few different cards that we can use. We could actually go and get Jersey Dudek. And instead of Kempembe, we can run with Saar along with Varane. I'm absolutely fine doing that. So there's so many different opportunities with this team right now. Because of the players that I've already packed this year, because of the SBCs that we're going to complete, there's a lot that we can get done. So hopefully we pack one of these special cards over the next week. We've got over 100 packs still. And I really do believe we are going to get one. My only worry is what is it going to be? I, realistically, the worst one that you can get is either Benucci or Jonathan David. Both of them I wouldn't really want. Even the likes of getting that Mendy card, he could easily go into the goalkeeper spot. We've got Saar. We've obviously got the um, flashback Varane coming. Flashback Varane could literally be in 30 days time when he expires. But I'm more than happy to do that because then that will mean that we've got the ability to grind Daglish. Plus, we could go and get maybe like the Sergio on Dest um, or Lotaro Martinez just for fun cards to use. And then we can obviously focus on getting Varane done maybe in the next set of promos. Because sadly, the next set of promos has also been leaked. Um, I think there is the ability to find both of the teams for it. I am not checking it. The only thing that I know and that isn't really too... well. It is a leak, and I think it was Leveled Up tweeted it. The actual token card for the next promo is out. Basically, we're going to get another thing like Winter Wild Card to earn tokens. I love that. Now, that's a leak that we don't know what we're getting. We don't know how many we're getting. We don't know what packs we're going to get. We just know that we're going to get something like Icon Swaps, which is also expiring on Monday, so I've got Squad Battle Games to play for that. Um, but... I just hope it's going to be fun again. I hope we can get good cards. If we don't, we just go for the packs. We get fodder. We go and do SBCs. That's absolutely fine. Either way, haven't got an issue doing whatever with it. So, yeah, hopefully it'll be good. Um, 
hopefully tonight we've got more 6pm content coming out. Obviously, we probably won't get any more objectives this week. Um, I'd be surprised if we did. So I think we'll have to see what we get there. In terms of SPCs, there might be maybe one of the 81 times 11 defenders packs or attackers packs. I feel like we're probably going to get another one of them. Purely down for the fact that, obviously, we got three of them last week. I think it was like the Sunday, the Tuesday, and the Thursday that all of them were released. So, again, I wouldn't be surprised with any of that. Team of the Week is probably going to go up. So, I might invest, say, like 50 Hermie coins into 10 Team of the Week cards. One, so we have them in the club. Or two, so we can do one of the SPCs and then sell on four of the cards or three of the cards, however many that we don't need. Make maybe 10k profit. We're sat on over a million coins. We're absolutely fine right now. Um, so, hopefully we'll be in a good position there so i think we'll open the league and three player packs in terms of the grind i spoke about it in the video in early on today um we're going to grind three player packs for league and because realistically i want salah that that's just it i want salah for my passive present liverpool team from the main team he'd be in the main team forever that'll be absolutely fine with that it would mean that we're going to have to go ahead and do a lot of the premier league 25k packs which is absolutely fine i think we've already got one built we did five built for the league and we got two left we opened three in the video before and um, so again it gives us that little ability to maybe get a kempembe or maybe get a hakimi maybe get donnarumma that's fine even if we get jonathan david even better it'll mean it frees up a little bit of fodder in the club um to hopefully get something like i don't know we've got savonier that we don't need right now um, for the league gun team it would free him up he goes into an spc and we go and get verandon makes it cheaper it means that we've got obviously the packs coming back from varan which are fairly good packs we've got the packs coming back from daglish which again are fairly good packs so all of these i want to get done um we've got the 83 times 25 pack and we've got the 82 times 25 working out roughly with them we'll probably get four segments of daglish done the first four and then we'll have three segments left and with that, we've probably got enough in the club to grind them. Worst case, we'll have enough from all of these packs to get him done and also start working on... Who have we got to work on? Varane. So, again, we'll see what happens. There could be another player that comes out in the next two or three days that we absolutely want. And kind of like the Oxley chamberlain moments card from two years ago, we could get that out for 500 k and I go and put all my assets into it because I want him. That That's just how it will work. So we'll see what happens there, but... We've got plenty of these packs. Um, I think we'll finish on the 83 times 25 pack today just because I want to open it. The fact that we've got honourable mentions in packs right now does give us the ability to get something good, so hopefully we will. Tammy Abraham is very nice. Gabriel Jesus is untradeable. So I think for the time being, I will go and find an SBC for him. And because this video is getting on, let's go hop into 6pm content. All right then, guys, so hopping into 6pm content Again, not too sure what we're going to get today, but I've been doing a few things. I've played, I think, a few more games of Champs. Uh, I think we've got maybe eight games left altogether. Realistically, we could go for 11 wins. We're on six wins right now. We could easily go for 11. We're just going to go for nine. I don't really care about an extra red pick. This week's reds are pretty poor. Um, the best ones being Kimmich and probably a Kanji. Probably the two best ones that I really want. Apart from that, I don't really care for them. So... Yeah, we'll see what we get. Um, I have been playing a bit of co-op. Um, obviously, over in the friendly section, you have the online friendly co-op. This is just the way that I'm going to get this done. We've played five games already. Um, won five of them. We probably played about seven games. Two of them were quits. That's fine. Um, 17 goals scored already. Plus, we've also got the three finesses done. So, we'll be able to claim all of that in tomorrow's video. That'll be absolutely fine. Um, doesn't seem to be anything new in terms of anything over here. Obviously, the Lunar New Year stuff we're slowly getting towards. I've got a few rivals to play tonight and um, to obviously work towards the 90 games for Milestone. So, because of that, it's about seven rival games a day. I'm absolutely fine doing that because, again, with working on that, we'll probably get up to rank two, maybe tonight. And then, because of that, maybe tomorrow we'll end up going to rank, like, well, actually, we're on rank two now. So, we could go to rank one and then division two and quite possibly push even further. I'm not too sure. We'll see what we're like. Um, if we could get to Division 2, that would be nice because then we'll start in Division 4 again for the next season. It just makes things a little bit easier for grinding in terms of packs. So hopefully, yeah, brand new SBC. Kaja doesn't look awful. Um, pace, pretty decent. Passing, his short passing, long passing is pretty good. That's what you mainly need. 
The general team balance is low for, in terms of the dribbling. His reactions are good, though. Composure is pretty nice. Defending's fantastic. Physical's good. Stamina's a little bit low, but again, not the worst card ever. Um, for his heroic semi final journey um, for the World Cup qualification, an outstanding individual year. Mainly probably highlighting a lot of the Denmark stuff that happened, obviously, with Ericsson and stuff. It's an 85 and an 86 rated card. Not awful. I would say if you're after a past and present Milan team, definitely worth doing. If you're after a very good Serie A team, again, probably worth doing. If you want a strong link to, obviously, we've got um, Terra Hernandez, we've got Florenzi, we've got Kessi, we've got Manan. Like, there's so many different Milan cards this year. We're kind of missing a centre-back, so this card coming in is very nice. Obviously, there is Tamori wants to watch. He's about 60k right now on Xbox. Um, again, one of the cards that might be worth doing. One card that I've highlighted that will probably get done is Vlakovic. Obviously, he's moved to Juventus now. We're probably never going to use him. He's just going to be SPC fodder, but for an 83-rated team, plus an inform, it means we can get rid of a few things, so that'll be fine there. Um, we've got Team of the Year, Challenge 5. Um, the Lightning Round, not Lightning Round, the Flash SPC that we had before for the... 381 plus pack we've had that done we got the 25k pack done as well for the flash challenge 5 and um, so that'll be fine in terms of today's challenge it is going to be an 80 rated team five rare players plays from one club maximum six plays from the same league max eight countries minimum four just do top off one league bottom off another league that easy to do or do it with all goals we've got nothing right now on the transfer list so this will be done with the duplicate card but Again, saves my life um, with getting duplicates. We can get that done. I think that's probably going to be it for content, would be my guess, unless we've had League SPCs come back in, um, which would be nice if they have. We've got the Korean Shiwa set. Nice little kid set if you want that. Apart from that, doesn't really matter. Um, in terms of what else we've got, obviously all the icon swaps, all the long SPCs that are here for a while. Have we got any new league SBCs. i would like it if we did if we didn't okay so premier league might come back over the next few days it is a saturday so what one player SBC plus a daily challenge no real surprise that there wasn't too much content today nothing in terms of objectives as you can see we've worked back up with packs from clearing out the transfer list i've got marquee matchups done i've got a load of upgrade packs done so there's plenty to work through there and um, in terms of packs today we've got 50k lightning rounds as per usual and then we've got premium gold pluses where you get an extra gold pack. Not really worth it, to be honest. Um, 45Ks as per usual. These are sort of basic now. How we used to always get 15K packs as the basic sort of promo pack. It seems to be 25K packs and 45K packs are always the way. Um, in terms of getting a team of the year, it's less than 1% still in that. 4.6% of an honourable mention. And yeah, overall, that's it. So not a lot of content, but... Fairly decent, could be worse. Um, I think to finish off today's video, we'll open two more of these league earn three player packs. If we get a blue, perfect. Can this one be blue? Nope, of course, because our luck is not in. So to finish, we are going to do the 83 times 25 pack. I am begging EA. I don't care if it's going to be Benucci honorable mention. I would like something blue to come out of one of these packs at some point this week. Because trust me, I really, really, really want it. I've got an inform here. It's going to be the Dutch goalkeeper. Is he going to be counted as the rare card? Sadly, he does. But that's fine. He's not a duplicate, so it means that we can send him to the club. If he was, I'd probably have just done the quick sell cover. Um, but it means that we'll probably get him at some point again this week. He can go into another play of the month SBC. God knows what other SBCs he released. We could get an, 83 times, uh, an 85 times 3 pack. Really nice if we get that again, so hopefully we'll get that, but we're just going to rip this. We're not going to do a preview. We're not going to do like a roulette. We're not going to do stat reveal. We are just going to see what we get out of the 83 times 25. We've got the 82 times 25 left to do. I've got four squad battle games. I'll get that done by Sunday, so we get squad battle rewards as well. But to finish off today's video, the 83 times 25 pack will be back tomorrow with... More of these packs to open. A lot to grind through. And hopefully, team of the year. It's going to be Dinye. It's so, so disappointing. Like, genuinely disappointing. The only thing I can hope for is like a 91 Harry Kane and a 90... 
I'm trying to think he's 90 rated. Like an 89 Van Dyke and Courtois and stuff like that. Please, can we just have some fodder in behind? Otherwise, this is going to be horrific. Please, EA. This is probably the worst 83 times 25 pack I've ever seen. And so on that note, that's where we're going to leave it for today, guys. I'm out. Peace.